The main program has helped me explore engineering. I think a big factor is the challenge with it and all the unknown aspects and the fact that it's the future. Long Beach, California. Beautiful weather, delicious food, and the world's greatest student assembly of ridiculously outstanding visionaries for underwater robotics and a whirlwind of a competition. I want to welcome you to Southern California Long Beach City College and the 16th annual Mate International ROV competition. We have 65 teams from 17 different countries. It makes me so proud to be here in the middle of this global community. And just like the world at large, the historic population of the event made for a heated competition, often quite literally. It's really hot. Yeah, it's really hot. It's sunny. It's very sunny. Working out in the sun and the pool side, you really get scorched. We have a huge amount of 3D printed parts. And as it went through parts of California, parts melted. I had to take a heat gun to them last night, melt them, and heat bend them. Hold on. A heat gun? Where'd I hear that before? Uh, one of my teammates creating himself a cheese sandwich with a heat gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. This year, an esteemed collection of MATE alumni highlighted their past experiences, which expertly predicted the narrative of the competition unfolding. Things are going to break. You're going to have to solve problems. It's going to become difficult. We had problems with our electromagnet. We had problems with the buoyancy on the vehicle. One of our propellers fell off, so we had to repair that on the pool floor. Yesterday, actually, our robot, it wasn't working. There was a Windows 10 update. It was really annoying. But no matter the problems, like proud parents, competitors were completely dedicated 24 hours a day to their progeny. I felt like I was up the entire week in Hawaii trying to program this thing, which we still forgot to work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but that's where the fun part is when it is late at night and you're rewiring a robot, but then the next day it is it's working, it's in the pool. It was exciting. Yeah, uh, it has fun. ups and downs. It was yeah. fun. It was stressful. Although it is really hardworking and exhausting, it is a really reward rewarding experience. Just stay strong, persevere, and these skills that you're learning, you're you're gonna use them all for the rest of your life. Never give up. Never surrender. With all systems properly tested. It's the back of London. It's the back of London. What was that? What was that? <laughs> A last dab of tweaks and the blessing from the elders. I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was time to head to the aquatic home of the Vikings to get medieval on these missions. In a bustling port city of the future, this year's teams were pitted against the entertainment, transport, and environmental progress of Long Beach's active harbor. Whether it was replacing a defective fountain, helping assemble a Hyperloop tube, or containing a clam catastrophe, teams were awestruck by the genius of their competitors. It's inspiring and motivating to see what other people do and talk to each other. And we have, we have our approach. Another team has the second approach, the third team has the third approach, and so on. There's, there's so much stuff to learn and to you know, teach us at each other. We're all given the same goal, and everybody has such different approaches that it's amazing to see what other people have to give to the ideas. When you compete with uh, teams from all over the world, you, uh, you meet uh, new, uh, new people, new ideas, uh, uh, new thinking of how to make our reason. Especially about the international competition, all the people you're going to meet and all the different like different ideas you get to experience. It's just awesome to see how everybody thinks different. Everybody's got a different idea on how to do something that's awesome. To... Looking at everybody doing the same thing we're doing, using bigger ideas, being very creative, it's a very amazing experience. By the end of their collective trials, the teams realized that they weren't really in it for the clams and that to win this competition was to be enlightened by the people surrounding them. The advantage of the, the 
diversity of people from all over the world working on the same problems you are. These guys know what we've been through. Yeah. <laughs> See them running around the halls, like revising notes for before presentations, and then that's like, we do it. We do the same up the stairs and down. The we feed you. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, it truly is an international competition. You just get to walk around and talk to all these different teams. It's just amazing to see like how similar we are because we all have we all have common ground. I mean, a lot of times it's hard for people of different cultures to get along, but we all can just bond over robotics. Which what science does it unifies like the metric system. Everybody can <laughs> meeting everyone. Yeah. All the different. All the different countries. Yeah, different that's, experiences. That's really, it's a really cool experience. This is my this is my first year in mate, um, and I just think this is really awesome. Goals in the mate competition. There's winning and then there's learning. You go in with the idea of learning, you get way more out of the competition. Main motivation here. It's not winning. It's not. It's gathering new experiences. It's sharing new ideas. I've already learned so much just from looking at other teams. So it's already going to be a gratifying experience, rewarding whether we. When the or not. I, like, I like the community of how everybody from around the world coming here just together and uh, meeting new friends and people and just uh, communicating, um, talking about their own robots, their ideas and future. It's a lot more than just a competition. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the MATE competition is an incubation chamber for young talents, where the product being developed is just as much the person as the ROV. I think it has that from every aspect. You have to do marketing, you have to do media, not only engineering and everything, so it really helps you get a nice overall experience of everything. MATE, has a, MATE provides us a lot of uh, transferable skills, not only in engineering, but in a lot of different places, and that's what's so great about this program. Um, real world skills that I will keep forever. Yeah. Just the environment it puts you in, like it helps you with like your critical thinking and your problem solving skills a lot in ways that um, you wouldn't ordinarily get to do. Previous team members have left our team and went straight to work with companies. I have that experience of competing in the competition and feeding directly into the industry. It's great to see how other people are getting their start and uh, have bright futures ahead of them. I'm a freshman and just having images from the things I've designed in the RV in my portfolio, that pretty much got me my job. Yeah. Okay, that is dang. <laughs> it also looks really good during interviews for companies. I probably interviewed for fire internship. I pretty much talked only about ROV. Three things that they come up with. Like, well, that time I built an underwater robot. If you learn in, this, in the classroom, it's kind of in a vacuum, you don't really know how to apply it. And this is a fantastic opportunity to, to take what you know and figure out for your own how to apply what you know. I think an important thing to me about being able to join a project like this where we actually make a thing is to get the whole kind of theory into practice sort of uh, experience. I, I use the stuff I've learned in class to actually control a real system and do something. From the opening ceremony to the final banquet, these students of underwater robotics had all achieved incredible things. As these inspiring youths walked off into their future, words of wisdom from day one rang out loud and clear. If this is not your last year competing, make sure you push yourself next year to do something that you didn't think you could accomplish. If this is your last year, don't settle until you find a job that's this challenging and this fun. This year's competition was made possible by all of these amazing organizations. Give them a hand while this scrolls. And that's the story from the 16th annual Mate International ROV competition. We'll see you next year.